Hello and welcome to Holton's Fix It 101. Today we are going to be focusing on this. This is a belt sander from, as you can see, Skill. It's uh, an 800 watt belt sander and that's what we'll be reviewing today. Welcome back. As I said in the intro, you can see this is a belt sander from Skill. I haven't taken it out of the box or done anything with it. Now, I'll tell you a quick background behind this, uh, why I've got this. Um, I had a belt sander and it basically just crapped out on me. It was rubbish. Um, it was a budget make. It even had budget written on it. Um, but. Uh, I had to go out and get myself a, a new belt sander and uh, anyone knows that I like DeWalt tools in my workshop and I also you know on the channel we we like DeWalt tools but I looked at the DeWalt version of a, of a belt sander and I didn't like one I didn't like the design and two I just didn't like the price it was we're talking you know 250 to 280 pounds just for a belt sander um, I don't use a belt sander that often in my workshop here. I get one out, probably use it for about 15 minutes and probably that's about only about once a month that I ever get to use one. So it, spending that sort of money just doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't add up. Um, so I decided that, you know, I have to go to something a bit different. I didn't want to go out and get one of the budget things that you can get in some of the big box stores or whatever um, I wanted something that is a little bit better than that and I was in my local hardware store and um, I was just generally looking at, uh, at, at tools to be honest with you as you do uh, so and I came across this one from Skill um, and it, they, was, they had it on a reasonable price it was £60 you know, British pounds um, so I, look, I had a quick look around on the one, the model that they had on display and I, I quite liked it. So I thought well, I'll stump up for that then. Um, I haven't, I've had it out of the box but and had a quick look around it and everything else. Um, so we'll get it on the bench and uh, we'll have a closer look. But uh, there we go. Now, as you can see, we're up on the route table here and uh, We'll, have a, we'll unbox this and we'll have a good look. So here we go. Let's undo this. That comes up like that and uh, like that. Now in the box we've got the usual sort of stuff that you usually would find. Uh, we've got the instruction manual. I've had a quick look through that and to be honest with you that's very very sketchy. Um, I wouldn't uh, worry about it to be honest. Um, you get in, there isn't much in that box actually. There's a there's a, obviously the power cord, you know, which is you know, it's not bad, but it's not long enough for my my mind. And it's a very very stiff power cord. It, it is as usual with power tools that you usually buy anywhere these days, unless you go into the higher end sort of like stuff. Um, it is quite short. Um, but uh, I'm sure that I would change that over time. Now here we go. Uh, we got this. We've got the sander, and we got a, an adapter for your um, vacuum cleaner. Um, I'm sure I'd be changing that over to my Dewalt system, uh, yeah, the, the airlock system. And if you haven't seen um, uh, the video that I've done on the Dewalt airlock system, I'll post a link. Uh, down below for you for that. Um, let's get rid of the box. There's nothing else in the box here. So uh, here we go. Um, now the belt sander itself, it comes with a belt already installed as you can see on the back here. Um, as I believe that is 120 grit uh, paper that they've actually given you on there. Um, it's, well, uh, we'll go, we'll go, let's go round it. Uh, let's, let's start off at the front here. 
you've got the um, the the dust tank is I would call it because it isn't a bag as such it is actually a, a plastic tank um, it comes with a filter in the back here um, it does actually state how many microns that will go down to but I haven't really gone into that um, so as I'm, I'm not going to worry about using the tank as, 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 as such, I should just connect it up to my vacuum system that I have here in the shop. Um, but uh, it, it comes, all the dust comes round here somehow and it goes up through there. Uh, it comes with a nice rubberized handles on here, I'll turn this round so you can get a better look. Um, it's got nice rubberized handles, this handle on the front is really nice, big and robust. Um, it's built all built into the actual molding of this so it isn't a separate thing so it's going to break off or anything like that it's actually built in so you really grab hold of it um, it's got a nice nice rubberized where it needs to be rubberized so if it has to be put down at any point in time it doesn't slide or anything like that um, the switch on here is good positive switch and um, if don't know whether you can see that on the camera there but it has I'll sit let's see if I can get the tank off that will make it a lot easier um, this is really stiff to come off but it does come off um, and it also has and if I've, I've just noticed they have an o-ring around here to actually seal that tank onto here so that that's a good feature I think but anyway uh, that has a variable speed control here so you can variable vary the speed of the belt that you have on here um, uh, the, the tracking mechanism I haven't quite got into the tracking me mechanism at the moment um, but there are um, versions of this uh, belt come out belt sander come out from uh, skill that have auto tracking now whether this one has that same feature I haven't gone really gone into it but there is an adjustment screw just down in there now whether that is something to do with auto tracking I really haven't got into that at the moment as you can see I've only bought this you know a couple of days ago and I've just got a quick look around it but I feel thought that a video would be better you know to explain to you guys out there that this is this is the way that you know I'm going with my belt sander um, the actual belt, if you put it down sort of like that, the actual belt comes off with this uh, here. They pull, pull, pull that lever there, it releases the belt and the belt just slides off the side. Now, like that. Um, it comes with, it, it has the usual, I think it's 53376 belts that you can buy. It's a standard belt, mostly right across most belt sanders these days. Um, I have that size belt in the in the uh, shop here, so I felt that that was the way to go. I didn't want to go and change, start changing belt sizes because I have to get a whole new set of belts. And the belts that I've already got here, um, they they will come become irrelevant. You know what I mean? I would have them hanging around doing nothing. So I just felt that having you know the same size belt sander of what I had before just made sense. Um, you know what can I say about this thing is it's good it, you know it's 800 watts we have got plenty of power for what I need um, and everything else and the, one well one feature that I did find um, that I did actually see on the skill website this was um, they had a picture of it um, that was that this edge here um, is completely flush here um, so that means that if you was to go up against um, a wall or a baseboard or something like that you could go right up tight to it on the, on this on this side here so this side you, you you go right up tight so that I found was a good feature because a lot of belt sanders these days all this the, the actual belt is more inboard and you you can't get right up to the edge of something so this one actually goes right up to the edge so I was quite pleased with that feature as it means that you know it better for the consumer who wants to use it to be honest but there we go it's the uh, 800 watt skill belt sander now for anyone who's interested in what the um, uh, the what's it the uh, model number 
ones there, that's the one. Model number is, I can tell you what the model, model number of this is, let's just get it off the box. It's uh, 7641 is the model number, if anyone's interested. Um, but uh, I got it from my local uh, bulk, but, you know, big box store or hardware store or whatever you want to call it, and it cost me £60. So, uh, you know, in, for a tool that I'm only going to be using for probably about 15 minutes for about probably about once a month, it's ideal for what I want. Um, I could have gone to the, you know, a bigger, bigger make like DeWalt or something like that. Like I said, I didn't like the design of them because the design of the DeWalt one had the dust port that actually came out of the top of the motor. I'll post a picture for you up the on the on the side there. Um, and, and if you never had your dust bag actually connected on your top, you accidentally even for for whatever you know reason, whatever, you never had that connected all the dust that you'd be you know, like sanding off would be blowing in your face and I didn't like that idea I, th I didn't think that was a very good design at all from DeWalt um, it, you know and in the price really did put me off so there we go just a quick go around it and um, everything else it, it, it's, it's a very good machine I can't I can't can't fault it at the moment but uh, I'm dare say that later on I will um, I will give you a feedback on how good this machine actually is because uh, I got nothing that I, <laughs> I've actually got to use it on at the moment I just bought it because I needed another one and it's nice to have it in the shop just in case that you know when I want it so so there we go the skill uh, 7641 belt sander now anyone who's interested in uh, in this I'll post a link down below to where I actually got this and uh, and ju I'll just plug this in just quickly anyway uh, so people can have a just have a quick listen to the, the, the motor and all this sort of thing I haven't got anything to use it on and you know any Pacific well, I can't show you any because you know, I haven't got a project working at the moment so um, I will just switch it on it's on number two at the moment uh, so there we go and you can see all the tracking at the front all taken care of and everything else this came straight out of the box with it tracked in everything else so I, I was very very pleased with the fact that I didn't have to mess around with any tracking on it or anything like that but that's on speed number two um, so I, th I think to be honest with you if you had it on number six that you would you, you know you would go away with you and everything else so uh, there we go um, if you like this video please click on that like video um, like button down below and please subscribe to the channel and anyone who knows me that they, they have the usual social media stuff if they want to contact me or anything like that and leave comments in the in the box down below because uh, anything that's you know I, I do read the comments you know I may not you know answer them or something like that straight away but I do read your comments but uh, and well I was uh, just a quick thing while I was researching this um, it came across on some um, videos and things like that uh, that um, <laughs> for, for anyone who wants to have a little bit of fun there are some videos out there of I, I didn't know it was about but belt sander racing <laughs> they, they, it's, it's, apparently they do it and they put great big long cords on these things and they have belt sander racing and they, you know, it's so funny so anyone who wants to have a quick look at that be my guest because it's so it really is funny um anyway i will see you another time bye bye